Yes. Perfect. We're doing foot slides and windmills with 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 uh, shirts hanging ever so loosely. Woo. What's up, Links? It's Chain Reactions. Uh, it's NCT Dream Smoothie, but also taking this opportunity to catch up with Mark uh, 200. Shout out to Trip Tape and to uh, Sweet Young uh, slash Sierra. I don't know how to pronounce the handle. So um, for letting me know about Mark 200, which slipped by me and then I was behind. But here we are. Let's just do it. First you crash into my life and you just broke my roof and my window, girl. You had me shock not those. You got emo so mark? Drama, who told me love would come down like a million rocks? The rock you came with was an alibi. Oh shit, okay. You and now we have the same disguise. Well second cap to got a sort chana. Don't buy me up the gotcha, can we rock? You Oh, interesting. We started off with that like not, not early 2000s maybe alt rock kind of vibe punk converses <laughs> then we went to a little bit of a drum and bass we had a little bit of like a distortion instrumental is very interesting okay <laughs> Bro, I like that. He's doing a lot of stuff in this. I like this. Um, what I want to say is, obviously, I know Mark as a rapper, um, but he's got the range, you know. We, what What are we going to do about it? It's an SM artist. He's got to be able to do it all a little bit. Uh, so he's showing, obviously, this is a very vocal, heavy song, but even his little rap verse, when he goes up, he changes the pitch. He goes up into a little bit of a high note there. That's, that's a lot of times I credit um, singers who bring rap qualities into their vocals to make them more interesting and dynamic uh but he's doing the opposite he's bringing some vocal uh ability into his rapping to make it more dynamic and i think that's really dope also this part's my favorite when he changes up his vocals here Right. Right. Uh oh. Okay. 
Um, so someone will have to let me know. I don't know if I'm, there's something I'm supposed to know about the number 200. I get that he's adding to create 200. It's like what I'm, what I'm assuming, not knowing the significance of the number 200 is, um, basically 106 and 94. Like we, it doesn't have to be completely even. We complete each other, you know, whatever that might be. But I, I don't know if there's a significance beyond that for the actual number 200, but Mark, let me make sure this is over. There's a lot of time left. Water building up. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah, that. Uh. Like I was saying, the I get the completing each other, adding up to the total. So at least that part I understand. Two hundred specifically, I don't know what that is a referencing to. So definitely let me know. Um. But the other stuff that I like. So first off coming from you know my other musical interests before i explored the wider world really like this this emo alt rock uh <laughs> version of mark i like that he did a lot of really nice stuff the the guitar and all that stuff it just worked really really well with his tone of voice and he had that angsty kind of attitude in his delivery it just worked really really well and then to mix in some rap to that obviously i like that but it also worked like and then as i said during the song itself he brought a little bit of his vocal ability into the rap itself so that it wasn't just a rap verse kind of shoehorned into an alt song it was it, it, he made it work and I thought that was really cool. I liked the instrumental a lot. I liked that um, when it went into that sort of almost drum and bass sort of uh, tempo that there were these these distortions and, and little sound effects that made it a little gritty, made it interesting. Um, I definitely liked, I think it was this part right here a lot where he does a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a verse and then he goes into a softer lower tone vocal and then he builds up kind of the emotion and the feeling and then you have kind of like a little bit of an angsty um i wouldn't call it a a, a crescendo but he kind of built it into a payoff and i really liked the way he did that that sound right there was really really perfect for the vibe and the genre uh, that he was going for. I got potential, so new to game, so my that high note in there is. I, the world ain't ready yet. Trust me, I'm drumming all at the jar. I got another breeze. Mm. I could tell you just like low. I. Yes! A million different stars, but you're the one. You're the one. Like, that's just so. <laughs> That shit brings me back. And then to have with the video that he's pushing, he's, you know, resisting with the uh, air blowing into the parachute, you know, fighting against that that force. Um, very, very striking, I think. It's it's strong imagery. I like the way he built up. I like the way that he used the vocal. I like the way he delivered it. I like the way that the instrumental picked up. That part right there, I think, is, the, is, is a highlight for me. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and then the parts of the video where... Um, you know, he, we got a lot of the animation stuff was also the kind of stuff that you would see in that like late nineties, early two thousands, mixing some, some gritty, grungy animation into an angsty kind of song. That's right here. And then the other hand. I also like that because uh, if you know Spider-Man, there's obviously a play on the scenes where he is learning to use his powers and the hand motion that he uses, but he's also saying Rockstar and like this is also a pretty typical you know hand motion back in the day uh <laughs> um the you know devil horns or whatever for people that were listening to rock or metal or whatever it might have been so i don't know if i'm just overthinking that but him doing that hand motion i get the spider-man references but what him doing that hand motion while saying you're my rock star and a little bit of angst to it 
I'm just getting a lot of inspiration there, and I think that that's um, I think that that's really cool the way that he he blended a lot of stuff um, in ways I didn't expect. Because obviously, like I said, I know Mark as a rapper, but I obviously know he can sing as well. So that it's not like a surprise. I know it's not a departure for him, um, but having it having it go into this alt kind of thing was was very very dope. This this reminded me of. Um, the kind of stuff that I would hear, uh, you know, maybe when I was a little bit of an angsty younger person at one point in my life, believe it or not. Um, so we'll give that a like. That was dope. Shout out again to uh, Trip Tate and Sierra for reminding me and telling me in the first place uh, that I had missed this. So thank you. And now we'll get on to NCT Dream Moonlight. And I'm not uh, I'm not as familiar with the with the Dream Boys names uh, beyond Mark and Heichan, so um, people let me know in Smoothie, and I'm, I'll work on it here. But bear with me if I get names wrong or don't know their names. Yeah. Just saw Mark with a parachute. <laughs> Hot air balloon. Hey, Mark, I haven't seen you in a while, man. How's that spider bite? That Chenley? Hey, slide those feet. Hey. We're doing windmills. Come on. We're doing foot slides and windmills with, with, with uh, shirts hanging ever so loosely. Let's that little note just hang there. Hey. Okay. Is that is that G's song? Is he the Mac Macnay? I actually don't know how to pronounce that word. Let me know <laughs> if that's even him. <laughs> that footwork is nice. Ooh, with a little. Hey. Oh, Renjun. Renjun? Let me know how to pronounce that, but I remember the, the purple oh. mini mullet. Huh. Hey! Ooh, fuck it up. Hey! Damn, he put everything he had into that windmill. You saw that? That's that spider strength. Uh. 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 <laughs> Ooh, back and back. Jayun, come here. <laughs> My man's trying to take the jawline medal from you. That Gino, Geno. Could use that shit for. I haven't done geometry in a long time. You know what I'm talking about? The right angle thing. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Hey, smooth 
last march. Doing that in the background. I'm so sorry if I'm getting the name wrong, but is that Chen Li doing all that? I like that. That was very different than Smoothie. <laughs> smoothie was... Smoothie was different. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it was bad. If you watch my reaction, I'm just saying, you know, they were, uh, we were talking about some other things in Smoothie. This, um, this was this was a little sweeter, I think. Um, uh, they, I like the, the, the dreamlike quality of it, which... Talk and NCT Dream, obviously Moonlight. That was very heavy on that. The like the really bright light, the the wearing all white, the clouds, the way that they were just kind of like looking, you know, just dreamy, uh, looking at the camera. That's kind of like lazy, smooth glances. Uh, that all worked really, really well together. I like the kind of thumping instrumental of that. I like we did the windmill. I like the foot dragon. We had some nice vocal moments. Um, I don't know if I'm getting names wrong here, but I think that they all did really well. I think that Gino, if that's how you pronounce it, I think that's, I think he's the one with the jaw. Uh, I think that him and um, <laughs> Jayun from from 127 need to have a jaw off. Um, well, I don't know what that would be like, but. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I like that we kind of like ease into it a little bit. Mm. I'm noticing a lot of SM Entertainment uh, themes of long distance communication uh, in the what what was it um in 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 dio's mars it was all about him trying to make contact having all the like makeshift you know radio equipment and stuff like that and then in espa's long chat they had some of that too making contact and, and that sort of stuff and then here we've got him holding i don't know what this equipment is called i don't fuck with radios and shit but you know what i'm talking about this thing um we got a lot of this stuff going on listening devices communication devices i'm just getting a little bit of a theme or a trend Ooh. is that jamin is that i don't know we got a couple of we got a couple of light short hairdos here so <laughs> A little body roll with the little foot drag. Uh. He's looking out like that. A. I like, I really like how this one is, um, it's not, uh, it's like, it's like 
inspirational, aspirational. We're talking about, you know, um, making it through things one step forward. It, optimism. I'm just getting a lot of that, and it plays into dream. and And moonlight is almost always used in a way of being like this romantic sort of scenery or imagery of a light that cuts through the nighttime. So uh, I really like that vibe and that feeling. It just it feels joyful. Making it shine. Yes. Mm. Fight that gravity. Use your imagination. Na 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 na. Footwork. Bye. <laughs> Love that. Next time isn't in my dictionary because it's right now. Tell him, Mark. Goddamn. Yep. Fuck next time. Huh. Hey, don't live in the past. A little, maybe a little contradiction. <laughs> no next time. But it's not really because it's saying no next time for whatever the opportunity is. Go for it now. Do what you gotta do now. That'll set you up for the future. Look forward, one step forward. All very, um, all very cohesive in that in that sort of imagery and that message. Don't live in the past. Don't worry about that stuff. Move forward. Break free of gravity. Fly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just, it's just happy. There's just a bounce to this message. Mm. Shake it off. Uh, I <laughs> love that move. Uh, ah, ah. It's also a cool effect to on the cloud like that. And they do that a couple of times where they they uh, they they have a, an, a line end with a nice note and it just kind of hangs there and obviously that's always a it's a fun way to end a song. Very cool, very nice. Um, if I read correctly, this was their oh I thought it was their first Japanese single. Um, well, congratulations to them on their second Japanese single. Uh, I thought that was really nice. Crazy different from <laughs> from smoothie. <laughs> We had the guys wearing their their flowy white shirts instead of beating the hell out of giant strawberries and shooting guns and stuff, um, <laughs> and talking dirty. Let's be honest. So I love that. This was it was very sweet. It was joyful. It was like I said, inspirational, aspirational. Don't give up. Go for it. Don't live in the past. Look to the future. Um, you can do this. Fly. Fight gravity. All that good stuff. Mark 200, I love that kind of um, almost angsty delivery. I like that uh, he blended a lot of really interesting things together with the rap and the vocals and the, the alt-rock kind of delivery and a very interesting instrumental. The Moonlight instrumental I liked. I like that. I like that consistent kind of thump it had to it, but it also it also lended itself to um, some nice melodies that felt 
um, not heavy like you would have thought when I talk about a thumping instrumental. It was uh, there were definitely really nice soaring little vocal moments there. I thought that was really really dope. So. Um, let me know what you thought about Mark 200. Let me know what I'm missing about the significance of the number 200. I'm sure it's something that everybody knows but me. Uh, and let me know what you think about Moonlight and uh, what they were doing here with the imagery and with the vocals. And also, be forgiving. Let me know whose names I messed up, mispronounced, all that good stuff. I'm just not as familiar with Dream as I am with you and 127, so... I'm trying, but you know I work on it in good faith and all that. So like, comment, subscribe. Let's talk in the comments. And until next time, stay fresh.